Let's play with the shortest volley player of the galaxy in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. So, of course, you have recognized him, the Superman of High Tours, but also the shortest character in High Tours. Very simply because nobody is playing with Florence there. Almost nobody. It's Kaito, super agile, full of energy, but also very short. It's his destiny. Well, I'm talking about uh, the shortest volley player of the galaxy, very simply because I don't know if uh, it's the shortest of the universe. Well, I don't know. Maybe that uh, on other planets of the universe, we have shorter volley players than this Kaito. So the uh, shortest, I would say, famous volley player that we have known in tennis history is uh, very probably John McEnroe with uh, 1 meter 80. That means 5 feet 11 inches. He was very skilled for a 1 meter 80 volley player. And here, well, we're not exactly <laughs> talking about a gameplay which looks like uh, John McEnroe first because, well, I'm still very noob at volley and secondly, well, Kaito is not exactly the best character to play volley with, especially in high tours. So I was... Uh, Lucky to be matched here against a not so experienced counter puncher. However, he did pretty well. And was lucky with that drop volley. So, as you can see, <laughs> this Kaito is really serving badly. His serves have uh, almost no weight. I can feel that they are kind of floating in the air instead of uh, being heavy. Like when uh, I'm serving with Leo, having the same serve stats, I mean. So uh, the serve speed is lower. The stiffness of the uh, serve is pretty lower too. And the only, almost only good thing that you could have with him is that he's quite agile. At least that's the impression that he gives. You know, can run pretty fast towards the net for the chip and charge. But otherwise, well, his wingspan is really very low, obviously. With a 1 meter 71 character, you can't decently expect to have a wingspan of a, a Leo who measures uh, more than 2 meters or uh, of a Diana who are the uh, most used characters for the volley play in High Tours. Okay, so this is classic in matches between two volley players they are long and you need to wait until one of them commit an force or unforce errors so my opponent committed uh, one error at the beginning of the match and then he managed to uh, come back and now so I have the only advantage that I have is that I have more stamina than him. So if nobody is winning yet and that we keep equalizing, well, we basically just need to um, to wait for my opponent to be worn out. Match point. With lower stamina, normally 
the risk of committing an enforcer or force one is much higher. So let's see. It's pretty fun to watch Kaito play volley, really. He can't really serve very fast due to his height. But it's funny to see him try to <laughs> hit this slop return <laughs> while he's usually the victim, you know. And yes, I'm lucky there to quick catch that and then to uh, return that correctly. But I didn't convert. So, bis repetita, I need to do it again. Try to get to provoke an error. As you can see, stamina of my opponent is quite lower now. So it's a good advantage. Just need to be patient. And try to keep my head cool. Leaving the returns that are supposed to come out well leave them alright and this is a double fold this time should be good because my opponent's stamina is really low and that's it finally it's really tiresome well I thought that, uh, honestly, that this match was going to last even longer, like one or two more minutes, you know, but fortunately, it just ended there. Here we go. So let's play against just another volley player having pretty decent stats with Leo. Yep. Too bad. I couldn't make it for this first point. Well, at least nobody is going to try to make a to hit a lob return against this uh, Kaito, and that's the good point. Because <laughs> usually, you know. Whenever Kaito is using the counter puncher style, well, all volley players, most of them, we try and hit lob returns to provoke uh, overheads volley smash. Wow, what did he try to do here? And well, of course, because he is playing with volley now, this is completely useless to do that versus uh, Kaito would smash very easily a big return and and so they are using other tactics of course another probably boring how would you qualify that I don't know I find those matches a bit uh, boring between two volley players but well you know you gotta do what you uh, gotta do. You gotta play them and try to see who is going to commit the narrow first. And that's it. I caught that. Was really, I didn't expect that. I thought that he was going to uh, blast me very easily because this Leo had really very decent stats. So he was a bit um, frustrated. And shortly after, like two or three matches after, we met again, and this time he has switched to Kaito. So this time he has uh, a 102 agility. That is tremendous. But the problem is that uh, his volley stat is only at 72, and his serve is only at 41. But of course, you would say that who cares? I mean, it's Kaito serving, so a 41 or 50 or, or even 55, I, I guess that it would be the same thing. The serve would be totally useless. It would be uh, 
really not hard at all. I don't know. I don't know why he left that without smashing it. Maybe he thought that it was uh, going out. I don't know. Or maybe he was uh, having a connection problem with the server. I don't know. Well, let's keep on playing. The thing is that he kept uh, focus after that uh, point loss. So it didn't disturb him too much. That was our second match. And I think that he would really love to beat me using Kaito too. He was very probably entering and changing the build to well, to see what he could do with Kaito. And well, that error was really committed at a bad time. Okay. He could have won otherwise. All right. Yes. So the uh, general impression is that it's pretty tricky with Kaito to hit efficient drop volleys. So as you don't see here, but I, I did play some other matches where I lost with Kaito, and well, I can say that uh, it's not. Yep trying to do exactly the same drop volleys, hit to hit them like uh, with Leo or Dina, well, that doesn't work much with Kaito. I don't know, he must not have the, uh, the touch, you know, the volley touch, to like uh, Leo or Dina, very simply. He's not made like, uh, to do that. He's made it to counter punch. It's like you ask Leo or Dinah to play counter punch or Stein, of course. They will be much less efficient than Kaito. That's already a miracle that uh, Kaito can handle <laughs> some volley, hitting some volleys. I mean, it's so weird to see him hit those volleys. So I I had already played with Volley and Kaito, I mean. That was a long time ago. I, I had tried for fun. But, uh, well, I have played this again. Very simply because uh, some subs asked me to do that. They requested, they wanted to see me suffer <laughs> volleying with Kaito, me, a noob, a total noob Volley player. Playing with one of the worst characters for volley, I mean, it's really a mess <laughs> in Tour 7. I mean, okay, I have Maestro Monty, so it's better than to play with Nylon String in Tour 4, you know, with uh, Kaito, but <laughs> it's still really, really a nightmare. Look at that. Well, and of course. I can mostly, when I play versus uh, Victoria or Kaito, and I, I can mostly beat them if they are not too experienced. Well, I had them play a lot of uh, matches, anyway, with uh, Kaito. And the volley uh, style, I mean, for this sub-request video. So I uh, didn't meet any top player during my sessions and oh no no I, I did meet uh, Shoni Shoni <laughs> and I must I must have made him laugh mm. because he was there hitting hard very hard with his forehand you all know the uh, the powerful forehand of Shoni Shoni one of the best high serve big forehand players that this game knows and well he was very probably enjoying it I mean, Victoria is already a volley killer in, in high tours, and you know, playing versus a Kaito volley player is really the best joy possible for Victoria. 
<laughs> I mean, what the heck he must have said to himself? What is he doing? Well, you are going to see the build that I use for this uh, short test volley player gameplay in Tour 7 of Tennis Clash. A sports game published by White Life Studios. I hope you enjoy watching those fun games. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye-bye.